Welcome back to another episode of I don't know what the f I'm doing anymore. In the last episode, Jotaro challenged me to make a 3D game. Why you don't try make a 3D game? Or you can't do that? So I made a first person parkour thing. And today we're gonna finish it and upload it for everyone to play. I started off by adding some subtle speed lines at the very edges of the screen that indicate how fast you're going and also makes you feel like an airplane, which, you know, is pretty cool because airplanes are, are cool. And I achieved this effect using a particle system in front of the player. Next up, I finished the grappling gun by animating the rope and making the swinging more realistic and fun to play around with. So with the basics done, we have to make some maps so you can actually play the game, cause you know, that, that'd be pretty cool. I got to work on the first map, which is a tutorial level, it's, it's pretty straightforward and just teaches you how to play. It's just like my grandma used to tell me, bruh, Danny, tutorials are lit, yeah. A big problem with the grappling gun is that it's very hard to aim while moving at high speeds, so I implemented an auto-aim feature that helps you aim at the spot closest to your aim. And with that done, we can go back to working on maps again. So I started putting together the first level, which is like literally just a couple of boxes, and a table. Don't forget the table, it, it's a fine table, handcrafted by yours truly. I made sure to build it strong and sturdy so it doesn't fall apart and can take a bit of a... Physics make me go yes. So I did some coding and just like that you can now pick up and throw objects around which is pretty fun. Smash like now if this makes you go yes. Now as you know, ragdolls make me go very much yes. So of course I implemented the ability to drag around and play with ragdolls. Because who doesn't like to play around with dead bodies, am I right? Come on, is that just me or... Yeah, it's just me? Shit. FBI, open up! And I implemented a line that shows you how you're dragging an object, which leads us to this clip. So doors are pretty cool since you can walk through them and stuff, so I'm gonna make my first model using Blender, which will be a door. And when I say model, I mean literally just a rectangle, because I don't know how to do more than that in Blender, okay? Don't judge me. Guys, this is literally me when I walk through a door. Smash subscribe now if that's totally relatable, guys. Then I used a Blender plugin to split the rectangle, I mean the door, into pieces. And using this, we now have a destructible door. Have you ever stopped and considered, why do I have ears? Probably not, because you're not a big brain like me, but it's actually so you can hear sounds and stuff. So I found some free sound effects from GDC and made a slow motion sound effect using Fruity Loops, and here is the result. If milk was considered alcohol, I would probably be an alcoholic, because I drink a lot of milk. I don't know where I'm going with this, so anyway, I modeled a milk carton in Blender, which is probably my first model that's not just a cube. Yeah, this is pretty advanced shit. We're doing a triangle on top of a cube. Yeah, I know, insane. Then I slapped it into the game, turned it into a spinny boy, and also gave it a white outline. So the goal of the game is to reach the milk, because the bad guys took it from you, so now you have to get it back based on a true story. I'll never forgive you, Johnny, you fucking sack of shit. Anyway, I also added a timer, because this game is based on my 2D game Carlson, which people started speedrunning for some reason, so I figured I might as well add a timer then. Oh, and like Obama once said in a presidential speech, Danny, you dumbass, you need to make a main menu. So I got to work on a main menu, which I spent like five hours on, and I was really happy with it. And then I managed to f***ing delete the entire thing, and now I don't have it anymore. So, a pro tip to all of you game devs out there, don't be an idiot like me, just don't be like me at all, and you're probably fine. So I put it all together again, and here it is in all of its glory. I also added a setting to lower the graphics for all of my boys out there with bad computers. And your best time on maps will also be displayed now. But as you might be able to tell, this room is about as empty as my brain, which was pretty goddamn empty. So we need to make some more models. And so I got to work on some office props. I started with a locker, then I made a computer screen, and here it all is in-game. It's looking pretty good, but I feel like something is missing, and I'm not sure exactly what that- 
Every good game has explosions, so first I made an explosive barrel model in Blender, which is probably the coolest goddamn cylinder you've ever seen in your life. I also made a texture in Photoshop, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never done this before, I have no idea what the f*** I'm doing. But anyway, so I tried a texture and it failed miserably, like my life, <laughs> man these jokes are getting pretty old. But after some messing around, I got it working properly, and here it is in action. It's not really action, it's kinda just standing still, but it, there it is, you know what I'm saying? An explosive barrel, in the middle of an office. Totally natural. And using Unity's particle system, I made an explosion effect, which, if I may say so myself, it's looking pretty f***ing sick. And here is the result of everything we've put together so far. It's all coming together really nicely, and I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. It would be a damn shame if something were to happen, like for example the entire project getting corrupted because of a blackout or something, you know, that's, that's silly. So the, the project is f***ed, tons of files are corrupted, nothing works, many errors, nice. But by some miracle, my friend warned me of the power being cut in the area, so I made a backup literally 10 minutes before it happened. I'm not even kidding, shout out to Evil for saving my f***ing ass. We're back in action baby, let's go! And now I need to make more maps for everyone to play. So first I made a sandbox level, which has a ton of obstacles, enemies and props to play around with. Oh and you can also rocket jump on explosions, which you know, is pretty cool. Then I made a second sandbox level, which is pretty much the map you saw in the first part of this video, but with a bit more things around the level to mess around with. And the reason I'm making a lot of these sandbox levels is because they're easy to make and still pretty fun to play on. After some playtesting, I realized that it's kinda hard to notice when you're in slow motion, so to fix this I added a distortion filter so you can hear when you're in slow motion. So let's give it a try and see what it sounds like. After blowing out my eardrums and turning my brain into liquid, I cleaned up the mess and then fixed it, and the slow motion now feels much better as it's very clear whenever it happens. Then I got to work on some gun models in Blender to spice up the graphics a bit because it looks a bit bland currently. So I started with a pistol, then I made an SMG UC thing, I don't know, and I also made a new grappler gun. So here you can see them in action, it's just a bit prettier to look at than what was previous in the game because they were just kinda squares, so yeah, it's, it's a bit cooler. I also put together a shotgun, which is probably my best model so far, and I gave it a ton of recoil so you can use it to fly around. And finally, I made some sort of grenade launcher pistol futuristic thing, I don't know, it shoots explosive bullets, which is pretty cool. And since I'm not really sure exactly what this is, I'm just gonna call it a boomer, cause, cause it goes boom, and, and yeah. And you can use it to blow up enemies, but more importantly, you can use it to blow up yourself, which is great, cause rocket jumps are sick. Obviously this and the shotgun is highly inspired by Team Fortress 2. And finally I got back to making some more maps. Now the second map is just a bit of parkour and enemies and stuff and suddenly boom lava, what the fuck? And for the third map I just said fuck it and made lava everywhere because, because lava is it's kinda cool I guess. This one is just high speed grappling, sliding, jumping through holes and all of that fun stuff. So. Not really a whole lot of enemies, not really a whole lot of purpose, but there's lava and there's jumps, so that's pretty cool. Obviously these maps are pretty bad and rushed and only took me a couple of hours to make because I have to get this video done and uploaded by Friday, so I don't really have time for much more than this. But I would love to work more on them in the future and possibly introduce a map editor so I can get you guys to do the job for me because then I don't have to do anything, which is great. Then Evan King uploaded a new song on his channel and since the game currently doesn't have any music and this song is absolutely slapping, I put it into the game. There's a link to Evan's channel down below, go subscribe now or I will slap you with a sack. I also added some more settings and finally some more maps so there's a bit more gameplay to play. And I set up a Steam page since I want to keep working on the game and turn it into a full release. So if you follow the link in the description you can wishlist the game on Steam and if the link doesn't work then you'll have to wait a couple of days until the page has been approved by Steam. 
Then I uploaded a game to itch.io, so if you follow the link in the description down below, you can download the game for completely free, and I'm not supposed to give my personal opinion here, but that's a great price. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, though I haven't tested it on Linux and Mac, so I can't really confirm if it works there or not. Do keep in mind, it's all pretty rushed, there are still many bugs, the movement is kinda wonky and definitely needs some work, especially when it comes to wall running, cause for example if you hit the roof or something, things get a bit weird. But that being said, it's still a fun little game. Also big shout out to Evil and Janik on Discord who playtested the game and gave me tons of great feedback. A lot of people have also asked for source code for the movement, so I'll upload that and post it on my tutorial channel when I have cleaned it up a bit. Link to my tutorial channel is in the description down below. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Thank Thank you so much for watching make sure to smash subscribe for more trashy content like this because at 1 million subscribers i'm doing a milk reveal and you definitely don't want to miss that smash like if you like the video smash dislike if you don't and remember hit the sack drink milk and don't be whack you wacko So I promised a foot reveal at 300,000 subscribers, so um, here you go weirdos, enjoy my foot, I guess, I don't know.